Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, uh, Chairman Conyers. I appreciate the opportunity to speak on this bill, of which I'm a sponsor. You know, the gentleman that just spoke, who I respect, uh, talked about the Founding Fathers and what's happened to our country. Well, you know, it's a great country, and I love our country, and it was a great country when it was founded. But when it was founded, women didn't have the right to vote, and African Americans weren't citizens. It takes time to perfect your law and to become a more perfect union. And that's what this law is doing, is taking an effort to perfect and make better our laws to reflect the society we have today and the thinking and the mindset that we have and the understanding of what happens in law. If we go all the way back to always the Founding Fathers, we'd have slaves, we'd have second-class citizens, which are women, and we wouldn't have any rights for anybody that wasn't a white male who owned property. Times have changed, and thank God they're changing today, Mr. Speaker. The fact is this has no effect on anybody that speaks about hate crimes. It doesn't affect any minister that speaks from the pulpit. We've had hate crimes in this country in state legislatures and federal law as well for decades. And no preacher and no person using the spoken word has ever been prosecuted or charged with a crime and never would. And this law goes further than any law ever because it specifically says that no First Amendment rights or rights guaranteed to freedom of speech will be abridged or because of the exercise thereof, have any charge brought against a person who exercises those rights. Never before has that been in a law that we've had here. So more rights are given to people, even though it's unnecessary to give them because there's no problem. It's basically simply a sh uh, to guarantee it and assure people to calm their, their concerns. People talk about people not being able to preach against people being gay. The fact is they can do it, and the fact is the Ten Commandments tell you not to bear false witness. And people who submit that they could, preachers could be arrested for preaching against homosexuality, which they do today, that they could be arrested, there is a, a commandment about that. Don't bear false witness. This is a good law. Gentlemen's time's expired. Gentlemen's time's expired.